but there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. You'll report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Fort Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Excuse me, but sir, are you sure this is, well, the proper time to be discussing that? Considering, I mean, given all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? What's phase three? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. Just forget the railroad and brotherhood and wreck the Institute by yourself? Yep! With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes, but- This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. No! You can't please, be serious! Everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. 
I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Well then! Hush work is sloppy at best, and deadly at worst. That's awesome. <laughs> Actually, that might be something I could do to test my hardcore character. Don't do any side quests, just destroy all other three factions. I don't think you can do that. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous. Perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the directorate, and the institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us. But for you especially, I know that you'll do the right thing. Bills! And I'm gonna betray him! And I'm gonna betray him! I'm literally gonna shoot him in the back. Uh, Did you check robotics? He was probably scheduled for routine maintenance. I wouldn't worry about it. I thought so too, but he wasn't in the log, and everyone I've asked hasn't seen him. He's never just missed his shift like that. What are you saying? Reporting if status. Worried, something might All happen. functions normal. No one knows where he is. It's like he just disappeared. It doesn't feel right. From what I hear, that rogue sink of a deposit. I suggest you keep this to yourself. But what if something's wrong? Look around. Courser patrols have doubled. Since are being wiped more frequently. Something is going on. I don't want to hear anymore. Do whatever you no. want. No. Just leave me out. Yes. We are honored to welcome you here. <clears throat> Father is more than just our leader. He is our creator. Maz, you have your mind in the gutter, you know that? This is my room, correct? Why am I searching things? Sleep for 24 hours. All right. To the railroad. I wish there was a way I could make all factions work together. Like just pull the ultimate bard charisma, just go and I'm in charge of all of you. <laughs> and all of you must listen to me and stop being stupid and work together. Meet with Z114. The Roy! <laughs> Ow. Chunks. I asked my friends if they'd take up arms for their freedom. I 
was surprised at the number of volunteers. Perhaps once the fighting begins, many others will join us. But we will fight and die very quickly unless we have weapons. A lot of them. Given the right materials, we can make our own crude but serviceable weapons. Unfortunately, we're missing a few critical ingredients. I have weapons I can give you. Excellent. Deposit anything you can spare in Maintenance Closet 3B. But we need enough weapons to arm an entire rebellion. So the ingredients are still necessary. Tell me how I can help. We've come up with a plan to get what we need. The Institute's always expanding. Excavation just completed on one of the sublevels. The mining equipment has been packed into crates and they haven't been moved yet. That equipment has everything we need. And thanks to Mr. Binet, the construction crew is populated solely by my friends. But they're under constant supervision. How do you feel about killing some guards? I'll do it, if it's necessary. <sighs> we could come up with no other way. After you eliminate the guards, we'll move the supplies and blow up the tunnels behind us. To the SRB, it will be a tragic construction accident that killed many synths. Rare, but not unheard of. And then, our dead friends can assemble the weapons we need. Good luck. Uh, first things first. I have been preparing for this day. To Sanctuary! Where I'm going to get a crap ton of weapons to arm the rebellion! <laughs> if I don't have enough weapons, then I'm going to go kill some raiders. I have a few missions that require some deaths of some raiders and super mutants. I'm sure, I can find plenty. But I'm not giving them ammo because I don't. Oh, okay. Because I don't think they need ammo. Oops, I meant this one. All these weapons! <laughs> I've been stockpiling! I won't get money for them, but <laughs> it'll be the strongest rebellion ever. It shall be glorious. And Mr. Gutsy was created by General Atomics International as a combat alternative to its domestic Mr. Handy robot. Nice work bringing that rogue synth. And you get a weapon, you get a weapon, a weapon, a weapon, a weapon. Here, get a fat man! <laughs> you get a weapon? Here's mine. How about some Gauss rifles? Hmm. Probably remember those. Here. I'll give you a few more. Here's a rocket launcher. That ought to be fun. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> you saw nothing. I completed. No. More. There we go. Give a few pipes just in case. Now back to sanctuary. Put the remainder of those weapons back to sell them later. I'm about to lose so many caps. Why, Maz? It's not like I need caps. I have like 14,000 caps. <laughs> 